वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माय चैनल योर टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स दिस लेक्चर ऑफ माइंड इज नंबर इज लेक्चर 13 ऑल्दो दिस इज लेक्चर 16 इन द सीरीज द सब्जेक्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स फॉर फाउंडेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स एंड फॉर रोड्स ड्यूरिंग देयर कंस्ट्रक्शन Up, what actually happens in black cotton soils? Its properties and its detrimental effects have been discussed in my previous lecture, which was 15th in the series. Now coming over to the 16th lecture of my series, black cotton soil. This is preventive measures or foundations in black cotton soils. what actually happens is the heaving due to alternate shrinkage and swelling characteristics of these kind of soils which in turn cause or may cause excessive total settlement or differential settlement beneath the foundations of any lightly loaded structures or maybe any kind of structure <coughs> which in turn may cause roof and slabs leaving the walls and you may see the development of these diagonal cracks in the walls and hence although lightly loaded structures may not fail in near future but they tend to behave differently and their aesthetic view is this stuff so what need be done in buildings so as to avoid these detrimental effects of the black cotton soils number 1 you can extend the foundation of such kind of structures to deeper depths what do you mean by deeper depths is to a depth where the alternate shrinkage and swelling effects of such kind of soils are nil or being nullified so what actually is being seen over the past years and the research is that after a depth of plus 3.50 meter below ground level the detrimental effects of such kind of soils are assumed to be zero or negligible which may not affect your foundations and in turn the stability of the structures so what need be done is to counter these kind of problems you can give extra reinforcement in foundation and cements i will let you know about the case example in indore madhya pradesh also we do and come to such kind of soils say it's around 10 15 years back we went to investigate the soil out there for the proposed structure the client was not willing to give in yeah construct the pile foundations out there so we had to explore the foundations the pit for the foundations to a depth of around 3.5 or 4 meter there we had to lay the non cohesive sandy soils of a certain thickness and then we started the foundations the construction of foundations and the further the superstructure etc now you can reinforce your floors in such cases if it is black cotton soil out there but the floors reinforcement is to be done after providing a non cohesive sandy layer beneath it so that any of the harmful or detrimental effects of such kind of soils are encountered and your structure remains safe you can even use pre stress and post tension slabs on this we can also go in for very good surface drainage all around the structures with sufficient 
width of appearance being built all around the structure so as to avoid any inconvenience to the structure by way of alternate bouts of shrinkage and swelling occurring on these in these kinds of soils and in these conditions so that your structure remains unharmed and we must necessarily avoid irrigated landscaping in these kinds of soils we can also pre moisture pre moisturing of the soil can also be done before such kind of constructions in order in order to counter its shrinkage and swelling properties so that our structure remains safe the best solution to such kind of soils is the construction of under the pile foundations as the best remedy for such kind of soils because in under the pile foundations the under in the pulp increases the load bearing capacity as well as its pulp counteracts the swelling properties of the soil also as well so what is being emphasized in this lecture of mine is the best solution to such kind of soils or any kind of buildings are the under rim pile foundations where you may decide the diameter and the number of under rims as per your load requirements of that very particular structure depending upon the number of the stories to be built out there on these very kind of sites now coming over to the remedial measures which need be done for the construction of roads in such kind of situation is you need to go in for extensive surface and sub surface drainage methods to be adopted during the construction of roads in order to keep your water away from the sub grade level of the soil from the sub grade soil you have to have given a non compact non expensive a non expensive base beneath these kinds of roads so that its swelling and shrinkage properties are equally counteracted in order to make your roads safe you can go in for the third method is that you have to you can treat the subgrade soil with lime etc because it has been found in many studies that lime stabilization is the best and the cheapest solution for the stability of such kind of soils because lime and these kinds of soils में एक ऐसा तरीके का रिएक्शन होता है जिससे इस तरीके की सॉइल स्टेबलाइज हो जाती है बहुत अच्छे से तो लाइम स्टेबलाइजेशन इज अ मेथड टू कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट रोड इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सॉइल्स एंड देर आर अदर मैथड्स नाउ द पॉइंट फॉर द लास्ट पॉइंट फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द रोड विच आई एम सजेस्टिंग इज प्रोवाइडिंग स्टील रे इन्फोर्समेंट इफ योर बजट परमिट्स बिकॉज इट इज डाउट से इट मे बी अ लिटिल बिट कॉस्टली so friends i think ki i have given you a preview of the methods the preventive measures for foundations for building foundations of buildings and for buildings of roads in black cotton prone soils of india i think you all will love this lecture of mine i request you all dear friends and fellows to kindly subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much